hello students welcome back and uh, in the previous video we have gone through these methods and you have learned how to select an individual cell and uh, putting a value to that now uh, before proceeding further I want to make one thing very clear that what is the difference between selection and activate okay so let's say I have done a selection from this cell to this cell which is A2 to A11 I made a selection of A2 to A11 but the active cell is A2 only now the active cell can be a single cell only and selection can be a multiple range of cell and if I am typing something it's going to reflect in A2 cell only okay so this is the difference between activate and selection we have learned how to do the selection of an individual cell or activating that particular cell but if we need to do the selection of multiple cell or a range of cell then how to do that so uh, we are going to learn that particular method right now so for that these methods are not required and out of these three method range cell and square bracket only you can make use of range method in order to do a selection of a range of cell and how to do that we are going to say this okay so let's say I am in this particular sheet because till now we have not learned how to do the selection of a sheet so I'm considering that I am in this particular sheet and I want to do the selection starting from A2 till A174 the last cell okay in order to make things easy I'm going to delete the rest of the range so that it uh, can be visible in a single page okay so I want to do the selection from A2 till A15 so how I need to write this so for this you need to write a range then here you can see there are two parameters cell 1 comma cell 2 cell 2 is in square bracket that's an indication of uh, optional parameter uh, you can see in the previous video only that we have given a1 dot activate uh, we have not given a cell 2 reference but even after that it has not generated any error because that's an optional parameter if you have gone through my um, normal excel training not the macro one then um, you may have a fair amount of idea okay so as a cell one i have given a2 comma now i need to do a selection of uh, a range of cell so i must give a cell 2 and as a cell 2 i am giving a15 and rather than activate i am going to type select and uh, I'm minimizing this let me run this you can see the range has been selected now if I want to do the selection up till here means the complete uh, data up till H15 so how it need to be done so let's see rather than A15 I'm typing here H15 and I'm going to run this and you can see the complete data has been selected now the next thing that I'm going to show you it's not compulsory but uh, you can nest other methods also into this also I'm not going to make use of this particular line right now but I'm not going to delete this because maybe in the future I'm going to use it so we tends to use one trick that is set or put a single quotation in front of it and convert this into comment okay uh, another method is going to be range rather than typing a2 i'm going to make use of cell method and uh, if i will go with the cell method then a2 mean this particular cell row in number is 2 and column number is 1 so range bracket start cells now it's asking for the row number which is 2 and column number which is 1 okay comma and cell 2 cell 2 let's say up till a15 I want to do the selection 
I mean a single column and uh, for a15 I can make use of square bracket method as well a15 dot select and I'm going to run this and you can see that the particular data has been selected I'm just clarifying it once again that it's not compulsory to do this in this manner but you can nest other other methods also into this it can be useful in the future projects okay now as I have made a selection the next thing that I'm going to tell you about that uh, how you can uh, do a formatting uh, to the selected data or to the activate data uh, and that we are going to cover in the next video Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.